Hey guys, welcome to our shop tour. We go live usually on Thursdays, but oh, we switched it to off. Tuesdays. Um, you want to fix the camera? Yes. <laughs> uh, we switched it to Tuesdays the last few weeks because it's been Christmas and um, this week we've got uh, New Year's and so we're moving everything up. So this week it's Tuesday shop tour and Thursday, which is normally our shop tour will be our thrift haul because Saturday is New Year's Eve. So we're super excited to be here. We're going to be showing you guys some fun things that have been marked down this week. Um, my new Valentine's display is in. The new Valentine's display is up. It's ready for so spring. Cute. It turned out even better than I expected. Yep. Um, we took all the Christmas out of the shop, so we will show you a few other things that we have going on in here. Next time we go uh, live in the shop, I'll have more Easter stuff out because I am working on that and spring stuff. And we have some things that are on sale and we're we also finished... showing you all the finished stuff. Yeah, we finished a bunch of thrift haul stuff. So we'll show you the things that are still available to purchase that we painted up today. And the duck isn't available for purchase, but we thought you should see the much debated duck that was broken. Zeb fixed it. The legs are solid. Solid legs. This is going to our friend Sarah from Ampers. Um, she already purchased it. I hope she likes French millinery with dark wax and a white wash. I feel like you put uh, weathered wood on there too. Yes, there is some weathered wood streaked in show, blended Show them the duck up close. Look how cute. All right. Quack, quack. <laughs> so this is the duck that I told him he shouldn't buy, but as he said, he did fix it and Sarah bought it. So we're going to ship that out. Um, let's show some more painted stuff. That we got finished. Do you want to show them the big urn? Yes. So if you guys remember on Saturday's thrift haul, now I'm going to drop the link to the thrift haul because everything else we're going to show you is still available for purchase. So you might be interested in it. But um, this was like a brownish brown. Oh, I can situation. show you the brown it was. It's pretty much that brown. That inside brown. It's not a good brown. It was not a good one. Not a chocolatey brown. Um, so Jamie painted this with, was it vintage mint? Um, yes, so I used Cottage Colors Vintage Mint, which works for a great base coat. And, and then, then a wash over the weathered top. Weathered wood wash, and then I just sealed it all up, and then I wet distressed, and because Vintage Mint has a sealer in it, when I wet distressed the weathered wood, it stopped at the Vintage Mint, and then it I sealed it It is hard to see up. that the Vintage Mint is not like a grayish yellow color in that camera. It's actually like a really nice green, almost like Patina. a... Yeah, it's, it's got like a kind of an olive tone to it, but lighter. Yeah, let me pull up. It's hard to describe. It came out really good. It's hard and to we describe. got all that foam out of there. I sanded it on out and cut it out. You worked really hard to get that foam out. Let's well, I told you I would do it, so I did. Because when I bought it, she's like, you better be able to get all that foam out of there. I only say <laughs> that because sometimes you buy stuff and then you're like, well, I'm busy taking care of the cow or whatever. And I have to, I paint all it, which times, I did. Sometimes, yeah. All times. And, and I, <laughs> that's every day. And then I have to do it. I didn't want to. So turned out super cute. I just dropped the link to the Saturday thrift haul. So you can buy that. That is $89.95 and it's big. Do you show how big it is? Like it's yeah. huge. It's giant. And I sealed it with a liquid top coat. So if you had it where it wasn't like getting super crazy rained on, you could totally put this outside. If you're going on a porch or whatever. I feel like I just need my dinner right here. Just you just it, want just, me to put your potato soup in there? Yeah, just put it right there and I'll just eat it. I made like two gallons of potato soup last night, almost completely gone in our house. Okay, let's show some more thrift flips. Oh, these turned out good. Let me go so get them cute. all. I'll show them up close. So we used the new label pack of JRV stencils and we used uh, weathered wood and then Zeb made a faded burlap because we didn't have it and then French millinery. You guys, if you do not have French millinery, you need it for spring. So this is one of the uh, floral mini pack wreaths. Is I don't know what yeah, it's, it's exact floral, name. It's a floral wreath mini pack. Floral wreath mini pack. This is one of them that's in there. And I just put it around the label. Look at this one around the scallop label. It turned out really good. This is in French. This is in Spanish. And I believe this, this one, one is, is in Dutch. Dutch, yes. And they're all a little bit distressed. And this one we did the opposite. So French millinery is what we did the label stencil in. And then we used weathered wood for the word. This is my arrangement that I did on Waste Not Wednesday. Zeb isn't it? Isn't it lovely? Lovely. And when you buy this flower bucket, the big French flower bucket, you get the flowers. We don't always include them, but we thrifted these and I feel like they now belong to this. What do you think? Do you think yeah. this is good? No, that's they yeah, go together. because we'll get asked, um, faded burlap, Zeb mixed this himself, but that's basically the same color as faded burlap. And then we used weathered wood and French millinery. French millinery is the perfect spring lavender. It has like gray undertones. Um, and the label stencil pack 
Then we used the wreaths, the mini wreaths, and then the new letters, the one inch letters that just came out. So in case you want to recreate your own. Lots of options. I think you did. Karen, like... what paint did you say we needed? Okay, so you're going to need to recreate this color scheme. You need faded burlap. It's a good color scheme. French millinery. It's very French. Weathered color. wood. And then I sealed these up with Big Top, but you could do wax or whatever. Um, and then we used the floral wreath stencils. If you can't find these on the website, message me because um, Caitlin's not on here tonight dropping links. And then we also used the one inch letters. So I'm happy to help drop links for any of those. But look how cute these are. Or you could just buy this for $29.95. Yeah, and all that, and, and like $60 worth of flowers. These are $12.95, <laughs> they don't come with flowers, and... Sit down so they can see you. Sorry. You're so cute, don't hide your face. <laughs> and I pulled my hair out, I had it braided all day, but I pulled it out. You still get your summer highlights in. Yeah, I have weird hair, it's like, I pro I don't color it, but it's like dark and then it just gets light. I think it's because I'm outside it's a lot. It's from all that gardening you did. You it's an ombre effect, got, all natural. You got some natural bleach. One of these is available for $12.95, the other two have sold. I think it's called Sun In. Sun In? Well, it really is Sun In. And we have one more thing. Oh, one more. We have the birdhouse. Remember the oh, snowman the birdhouse. birdhouse from the thrift hall? It so got we, a little upcycle. We have been really I, loving. I did a fun, drippy finish on it. Doing all of these smalls that are thrifted because wholesale has been so hit and miss. We'll order stuff, they won't have it, or it'll be six it's, months it's out. It's the same stuff they're selling at Hobby Lobby. Or it's like ridiculously priced. So we're just, you know, we're getting all this stuff, these buckets. I think I paid a dollar to a dollar fifty for each of those buckets, and we have four buckets turned out awesome with a few stencils and some paint. Where is my shop? So our shop is located at 1190 North, 500 West in Lehigh, Utah, and also everything is listed. I'll drop the link again for all these thrift haul items in case you're interested, and the paint if you want to recreate your own um, at jamierayvintage.com. So this is also weathered wood, which was on those buckets, and then I just did a white dry brush to make the roof look a little different. And this is the white linen in the cottage colors. And then I just used leftover uh, transfers on the front. So this used to be green roof. I love roof. the transfer over the entry. Isn't that cute? Any bird would be happy to live there. Had a snowman on it. You can kind of see it came through the distress, but only you would know because I told you. And then I, <laughs> this I think is leftover from classic pots. And this is from, Ephemeral melange. Yes. Ephemeral melange. Good These are IOD transfers. That. Good job. And like I said, we did like kind of a drippy, fun finish. So this one, I think was, gosh, I can't remember. Um, I don't know. I can't remember how much this one was. You you show them something that's coming up. Oh, that I found it. You found it. You got it. Sixteen ninety five for this cute little bird cage, solid wood, hand painted. And that is why we thrift, so we can get cute stuff. And we'll show you in a little bit how cute all the handmade stuff looks in the store. So this is a burlap runner with like a red grain sack stripe, perfect for your Valentine's Day centerpiece. Um, it's long, it's 12 and, and a half of inches. July. It's tw yes, 4th of July also. And Christmas next year. It's 12 and a half inches wide and it is hemmed down the side. Um, looks like they just, yes, it'll keep it from fraying. Um, but it's 108 inches long. Quick, do the math. How many feet is that? Nine. Isn't it? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, because, no, it's a little more than nine. Because 112 would be 10. Really? Yes. Well, I don't know. It's long. It's, it's a good deal. I don't know. Like, it might be nine. All right, I'm sharing the sale collection. You're right. It's nine feet. Well, I just know Look at my head doing math. It's so difficult. I'm like, what is 9 times 12? Come well, on. Well, I just know because we were trying to figure out 9 feet the other day when we were doing that desk. For, did you guys watch the video where we did the desk in our office? Every time I walk up the stairs, I'm so happy. But So, yeah, I'll show you what this looks like unrolled. But these, we have 9 of them available, and they are $10.95, regularly $19.95. They're in the sale collection. So is are... right, 9 feet exactly. And i got to go back to third grade. I, I only know because I remember weird things with my ADHD brain, and I just remember we calculated nine feet last week. Yeah. Next week, I might not know that. But anyway, so super cute runner, $10.95, flat rate shipping. We'll show you with it what it looks like out when we go see the yeah, display. Yeah, it's in my Valentine's display. display, so you can see that. Um, and then I just dropped the link to the sale collection, so you can check out all the things we have on sale. We have a few things left from previous weeks. Some things have sold out. 
Um, we have three of these. I just brought them from downstairs. From these upstairs. are from oh, from upstairs. Sorry, these are from last <laughs> season, and so I matter. marked them down. They have the cutest little like velvet ribbon on the bottom, and then this is in like sewn around the edge. They're darling. Their original price was actually lower than probably what they should have been, but I got a good deal. Um, and they were $6.95, and I just lowered them to $3.95. And I only have three of them. So if you like this one, definitely do not miss out on this. Are you coming up to show? Oh, I haven't marked those down yet. I forgot. These Don't are balloon them. blocks. I haven't marked them down yet. I'm going to show them. Okay, well, what's the name of them? So they're balloon block signs. All right. And it looks like, do you get two for the, this no, price? No, they're sold individually. They have balloon. different product numbers, but they're called the same thing. No, they say don't follow oh, lead. Oh, this one's lead and this one's lift. Okay. So I'm going to make them. We like, rise by one. lifting and don't follow lead. And I'm going to make them 295 which is a dang good deal. Oh, I didn't finish that one. We rise by lifting others. And then you got the one green balloon rising above. Oops. They're just cute little watercolor block signs that are fun to give to somebody to brighten their day, especially for two ninety-five. I think they go great in like a little gift baggie. Yeah, they would. All right, let me just add these to the sale collection. So they were five ninety-five, marked down to two ninety-five, and they do have hanging hardware on the back if you want to hang them. But I actually like to just set them in a little vignette. All right, perfect. Sorry about that. I was meaning to get those listed in here and did not. They should be in the sale Is this list. the lace edition? What is all this lace? So these are, I bought them during 2020. And we've had, so we've had them for a minute. They're a little bit wrinkled because they've been folded up. And they're sized. Oh, all lace in the back. They're super cute, but they're sized small. So if you wear a medium, you need to buy a large. If you wear a small, you need to buy a medium. If you're an extra small, you're in luck because we never carry hardly any extra smalls, just buy a small. Um, but hold on, I need to look and make sure that showed up in the right collection. Anyways, these were $18.95 with free shipping, and I just marked them down to $9.95. You want to show them all four colors? Yep, so, so it looks like the pattern is the same on all of them. We've just got three different colors. Oh, four colors. Do you have a lot of these? Yeah, we have <laughs> quite a few sizes of them. They come in small, medium, large. I can wear a large. They are slim fitting. Like I said, they're definitely like teenager, or if you've got like a tween that needs an extra small, buy a small. So size up in them they are 9.95 with free shipping which is phenomenal and i'm just clearing them out to make room we also have white and i think for spring they're really nice because they're lightweight but sometimes you just need a little something to you know take the chill off and even if it's hot it's not too bad because the back is all this gorgeous lace what are they made of let's see i think they're like oh. a blend people always ask me so they're eight that does, that's 60% because the, otherwise it wouldn't be good math. 60% cotton, 40% polyester. So they won't like wrinkle and they won't really shrink too much. That's a lot of polyester. 40% 40, 40 polyester. All right, but they're not acrylic, which is nice. So they'll be a little bit more breathable. Okay. All right, these are not on sale. These are just new. So I'm going to keep Lace showing. edition, that's what I was talking about. All right, show them the candy that's on sale. Oh, okay. We have uh, a oh. little, oh, did you get a splinter? No, there was a staple. Um, we are not, all of our rest of our Christmas we boxed up. We're going to save till next year because it's all really good and I don't feel like getting rid of it because I'll use it again. But I'm not selling Christmas candy, even though this does say used by 2025. Well, and Christmas was great. We had an amazing Christmas. Hopefully you did too. But we've been doing Christmas stuff since October. So yeah. we're going to pack it up. So we packed it up. It's out of the shop. But if you want ribbon candy, these are marked down half off. So originally these were like $9.95, these are $4.95. These actually didn't sell as well in the shop, I think because they're not as cute. These we almost sold out of. So we only have two left of these. This is just the uh, hard tack candy that, uh, you know, everybody loves around Christmas time. Hammond's classic candies, they probably even taste like classic candy. Yeah, these don't expire until I can't 2024. I can't taste test these. Which they probably will last till the apocalypse because they're hard candy. Well, we don't want to let them sit around. We'd rather give them to you at a discount. That way we can get fresh candy for next year because after food sits for a while, it does start to taste old, even if it doesn't expire. So, so help us sell this candy. Um, and like I said, like four ninety five for a little bag of candy, you just throw it on an order. You gotta get some paint. You need some sugar to keep you going. We got you. 
Um, and these were $14.95 originally, and we marked them down to $7.95. This is, this is like candy and crafting supplies. Yeah, Unless you like the, the way the tin looks. The tin is actually really cute, which is why I think we sold so many of them this yeah. year. They're, they're just a good size. It's like a, like if you need a little organizer tin for a drawer, or like you can put cute. your extra needles or buttons. Since 1920, that's how long Hammond's I would candy's put, been around. Wow, that's a good long while. 102 years. I would uh, I would put my keys in something like this, like all my spare extra keys. I just think it's cute, and um, like I said, we will get. I think next year I'm just gonna just buy these. I'm not gonna buy the bags because they're not as cute, even though it's the same dang candy. Cute sells. All right, mm -hmm. all right. We so we showed all the sale oh. items. Oh, we wanted to show you one more thing. Remember, like three weeks ago, I was like, don't start that because we won't finish it. I think it was only two weeks. Guess what we finally finished? Oh, flip oh. it the other way. Oh, well, now it's upside down. There we go. We use the Jamie Ray Vintage BM Barn decoupage paper. This is an it. antique little uh, end table that we got. Where did we get this? Was it from the consignment store? It's from California. From California, yep. But the bar under here broke. You can see it's holding up really well. One, one hand on the, uh, the support here, and the glue is doing its job. I don't know that I feel comfortable shipping this. The whole thing's a little spindly. It's just thin, and I feel like UPS would not appreciate that thinness. So we're only going to sell this in the store. But if you're local, it's fifty nine ninety five. But how cool did that paper turn out on I the know, top? It's so and then cute. these legs are nice with the. It's very. It's kind of got like a mid century modern vibe that we farmhouse out. I don't know. It's got this little curve here. Yeah, to me, it that's does not have some. It does have some curviness. So yeah, maybe yeah, this might be. There. This actually is probably earlier than that. This is probably at least 40s. I dropped the link to this decoupage paper in case you want to use it on a project. The decoupage paper is 20 by 30, so we had to cut it down to fit. And then this uh, is just cottage colors in white linen. white linen. Which is so great because I painted it, I distressed it, done. We had a little bit of bleed through, but it kind of works for the age of the piece. I'm not going to say the cottage color stops bleed through, but I am going to say because it has a built-in sealer, it does, help. It does bleed less does that make sense like if i had painted that with regular diy paint and then sealed it it would have bled like a stuffed pig because it's like cherry or mahogany or something yeah. um so i was actually really pleased that with back that. In its home. all right we're gonna put that over there we're gonna mark that so if you're local that's 59.95 um and it'll be in the shop are and you guys ready to go see the valentine's display hold on oh we guess we should show them these oh show them the lace real quick you show them the lace and i'll grab the link how about that Okay, These are I'm, in the Valentine's display, but they're close, new products and we want to show them to your place. They're shiny in the package and it's hard to show They're cute. There. Oh, you guys can see it good. There we go. So how many, six, it's six pieces. It's a pack of six, 100% cotton lace doily. These are small enough. Like I would just use these for coasters or something. I think it'd be so cute to like sew them together and then make like a little, um, Butterflies. What, bunting? Is that the word bunting? I'm going to show you this one upside down. So as you can see the butterfly because it's these in the aren't, package. These aren't technically on sale, but the price is They're new, really right? good. This is a pack of six. Yeah. We've had them before, but so this is seven ninety five. This bigger one is eight ninety five, and then just in time for Valentine's Day and spring. I know it's it's like not even January quite yet, but it's literally right around the corner, like a month and a half. I think hearts are good year round. So got the hearts, and this is also a six pack. This one is seven ninety five as well. Oh, yeah, same the littler size ones the are seven ninety five, and the big round doilies are eight ninety five. But can you imagine like how much work goes into those? Hundred percent cotton. These ones are five inches to give you an idea, and um, these ones are three inches. So we'll, we're going to show you our display. You guys want to see? Let's go see the display. Our Valentine's Day display. Okay, and I just dropped the link to those doilies if you need some for your spring crafting. Also, I couldn't help but notice when we were. You guys did a good job. We appreciate your support so much. We, there are some holes in the shop that we need to fill because you guys did so much Christmas shopping. Yeah, it was good. Like it doesn't, maybe it doesn't look empty to you, but I promise that- We had to zhuzh it up I and spread it out. had to fluff it up to make it look full. I think we can fit a lot more inventory in here than we have. <laughs> so this was where our Christmas display was. We have here, let me get you the full effect. This is walking into the front of the shop. You can see we've got some, we got a t-shirt that we made. Who keeps opening this up? I put this on here because she, she looks cold. a little cold. It's, but then you can't read it. It's okay. It's fine. And then the shirt itself is thrifted. It's a 2X. And then the beanie we carry on the website in the... Uh, Clothing collection. The, the closet, JRV closet, and as well as the uh, the sweatshirt. What do you call that? Is that a... I don't know. 
It looks like a sweater. It's a cardigan. Cardigan. It's got a fancy name. That's what this is called a cardigan. Okay. Also on the. And then we will also show this, show you this again because I don't know when it froze up, but this, so this is, is where we were when it froze. Was right here. Yeah, that is from the uh, Waste Last Not week. Wednesday. Yep, and then. Um, this is from the thrift haul before, but look how cute these colors are together here in the shop. I'm so glad that we started our crafting early. Also, if you guys are hopping on, would you hit the share on this one so that way people come back so they know that we're back. We're back. Sorry, the internet, it's stormy here and our Wi-Fi was being stinky. All right, let's show you our Valentine's Day display again. We're going to just take a quick walk. It's very, it's very we subtle. removed all of the Christmas from right here. And we've put just our, um, we have these really cute cast iron bottle openers. They're $6.95, look how cute that is. I like them for decor, but they actually are functional. And then we just brought in a little bit of spring. Some of our, we were talking how we sprinkle in our painted thrifted vines. Look how cute they All are. All of these are thrifted and this is in the vintage pink. So cute. And um, then we still have the Hammonds. Uh, double chocolate cocoa out. We were debating on do we bring that in for Christmas, but we're like, you know what? We still got a couple months of freezing yeah, temps. Still, it's still freezing. <laughs> so let's let's talk about our Valentine's display. Um, this is our shirt that we we did this for channel membership. So if you guys are in our YouTube channel membership or the paid Facebook group, we just did that at the beginning of December, and then today for our paid group, we actually showed you how we made the display. So we made the this mannequin. Cool skirt, we did the mannequin and the bow, and then all I did was come in, we picked up these postcards while we were in France. You guys, these are like handwritten. This is, this is like pressed plants here that someone sewed on and then wrote a note in French. And I just went to the dollar store, dollar 25 store, and I picked up these mini um, clothes pins and clothes pin them on because I thought it was very kind of romantic looking. So these French postcards are six ninety five each. And we, I did put these on the website. They are chosen at random because I did not have it in me to list fifty individual postcards. But if you want them, most of them are written on and they have stamps. Like this is from when stamps were five cents. So hmm. it's a hot minute old. Some of them come in plastic. Some of them don't. Some more like traditional. Well, and look at this guy here. Cards. I know, isn't that one cool? What's the date on that? Is there a date? Was that one actually filled out? Look at that handwriting. I'm trying to see it. Man, I can't look, even believe how sheet. neat that writing is. Some of them, before we ship them, I'm going to be scanning them because look how cool they are. These are great ephemera. So these are $6.95 each. I think I put them in flat rate shipping if I didn't. I will later. So here's that runner. It's kind of oh, yeah, underneath, look how long this is. but it trails off over here to the end, and then it also trails off on this side. And this is a good size table. Ten dollars and ninety five cents, you guys. Like it is such a stinking good deal. Um, the stripe is like sublimated on, if that makes sense. It's not in the burlap, but it's really cool. And then we added some stuff. So I'll show you what we've gotten here. These are the doilies. So I put these out on display here. I thought they were kind of cute, and I love the little hearts. These are our Valentine's Day signs, French Valentine signs. They're $16.95 each. We hand painted these. We used our French Valentine stencil pack. So if you go to JRV stencils, there, it's like, I think there's two different sets and you get three different stencils in each, but they're so perfect for Valentine's Day crafting, but I actually think they're cute all the time. Like this one isn't Valentine's, but it's just darling. All right, what else do we have over here? Um, we have the oh. little butt or the little pans. What yeah. are they? These are the Valentines that we made. They are $16.95 each. Do you guys remember these from a Waste Not Wednesday? They're made from vintage tins and we decoupaged our JRV Valentine's paper on them. The reason why I did them specifically was I want them, I wanted them for this display. Oh, and we have another, this is also from that same paper. Yes, look how cute these are. We made these last year. They are Valentine's mini frames. They got put up. <laughs> they got put up. We just brought them back out. They're $9.95 each. Look how cute those are. If you guys want the JRV decoupage paper, we do have this Valentine's Day decoupage paper in stock. I didn't realize how cute this one was. Look at that. That's oh, it's favorite. glittery. And this one has glitter too. They're so good. 
I love them so much. Oh, we are, we, this is not on the website yet, but we did a video on how to use silver solder to make charms out of the IOD molds. And we are gonna come up with a special line of jewelry just in time for Valentine's Day. We're probably gonna make maybe like a dozen pieces that'll look similar to that. And we'll get those listed in the next couple of weeks. Um, what else is in here? Oh, this is our chippy um, heart. Yep, the chippy heart. This is a thrift haul collection. It's 1995. That was thrifted, and we just painted it. I did milk paint, so it's all chippy. And then these are actually Christmas ornaments, but they say love, and they're glittery, and so we like them for Valentine's Day. And they are, they're not too expensive. I think they're, they're $6.95. Also, don't forget all of is. your mugs. We got to go get more mugs. I'm on the hunt for mugs now. Yeah, I put all of our mugs in there. Um, and we added the magnolias to the top of this plane. I think it's the big fun. magnolias. And then Do you this think is. We should make some more of this this style shirt with the French. This is a JRV stencil. This is the French. I don't think that's a question for me. Words. That's a question for everyone. Now, what do you guys think? And then this is the French wall panel stencil. So if you like that, let me know because we could do them and some bags tomorrow because I have some black I think bags. Bags would be really cool to do. Some totes. Yeah. Because I have. Let me show you. Last do we one. have totes? Let's go for a walk. We, we didn't even turn the lights on on the stage tonight. Uh, oops. No, they're right here. So we could do bleach and do really cool Valentine's Day and then just put like a big pretty ribbon on it. Wouldn't that be fun for Waste Not Wednesday? That's what I was thinking. Okay. All right, we can go back over there. We don't have to go over there. Let's just... Well, I think we showed them. I mean, we do have some spring stuff here. These, these, uh, I forgot. I just, spay. I'm looking right at them. These water bottles, the double wall insulated. They're the ones that keep stuff cold. And then we've got some fun tumblers too. Oh, somebody just bought the topiary. It's nice. so cute. I'm glad that it sold. Um, oh, I was just going to show them this. We just zhuzhed up this. Zhuzh. Is this perfume? Yeah, Roller it's French ball? perfume. Because I was thinking, oh, look how romantic. This is Pierre Vert. It's very fancy packaging. It's not pervert. It's Pierre Vert. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> well, it's P-I-E-R-R-E-V-E-R-T. I was like, Pierre Vert. And this is Valensol, but we have French perfume. It's 1995, comes on a roller ball. This parfum is bougie. Um, but I want to show them this little area over here, and okay. then we probably can um, go feed the, the children dinner. Although I fed the boys before I left. Um, I wanted to show them this cute little display we have here. It's been hiding in the back, so we're going to start bringing out tons of floral. Here's our little teapot from the Saturday Thrift Hall. 1995. Look how cute that is next to this um, French, let's see, small pitcher IOD the iod on it look how cute that is so that's why if you've seen us buy lots of spring stuff it's because we want to bring it into the shop and then these are actually um stocking holders but i think they're pretty to just hold any kind of things these are i made these as ornaments but i think that they're cute for spring so i'm going to keep them out because people can just hang them up like in the little decor and then you area. got your little hot air balloons over here a little hello spring stencil oh, and then another little sign little with some floral i need to get some okay. floral in this one but this is my little pink wall pocket here. We use the vintage pink. And then this is paint blue. And paint blue with the flowers. It's just kind of a cute little area. I do have some more floral at home, so I'll decorate that up. But look how cute. I love the wall pockets for spring. I'm so excited, even though it's gonna snow tonight. All right, I think, I think we've got it. Oh, did we show them last? I don't think they've seen the um, these little collectibles that we brought out that are pretty cute. Oh. Don't trip over the duck. Don't trip over the duck. I don't think that's going to last long. This is so cute. These collectibles here. Yes. So these are the Calico Kittens. You can get this entire set for $19.95. We just brought this out of the deep, dark basement. Look how cute they are. I love Calico Kittens. Look at that one. All right, that's it. That's all I want to show. It's in the Thrift Hall collection under Calico Kittens. Let's see if there's any questions. Here, let's face this way. It's much brighter this way. Yeah, I forgot to turn the stage lights on, guys. <laughs> oh, Is that everything? Hold on. Where Are we frozen go? again? No. Oh, we're over here. We're still not frozen. No, we're but ready I can't. to go. I'm pulling up comments. Okay, perfect. All right, if you guys have any questions or can't find anything, let me know. You can go to jamierayvintage.com. Everything is listed there. Um, and we're happy to help you guys, you know, with your paint, DIYs, whatever. And then tomorrow we'll be live for Waste Not Wednesday.
Yeah, 10, at, 10 a.m. Mountain Time tomorrow. We'll do something fun. We might do the stencils. We might wake up and be like, uh, we want to do something else, and we'll do that next you week. You never know. All right, love you guys. Thanks for joining us. See you later. Catch you guys later.